Hey everybody and welcome to 3D Print Anything. Today we're going to take a look at the filament that was sent to me in the Maker Geeks 3D Geek Box in December of 2016. Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's take a look at our three models from the three rolls of Maker Geek's 3D Geek Box filament that was sent in December. We have our first one here, which is in transparent red. Let me get that close for you. This guy right here is looking pretty good. He's really shiny, but very detailed. No issues at all on this print whatsoever that I can see. Uh, with a cooling fan for the PLA, I had no issues with overheating of the filament at the peak. It just did a really, really good job. And this was printed on the Malian M180. This is the transparent green. Now this guy actually looks really cool when you compare him. He's got a lot more shadowing to him because of the darker filament and I really like that. So this guy's really nice. Uh, yeah, again, no issues at all. This is the PLA at 230 degrees at a 0.2 layer height. No issues. And we'll take a look at our last one. Now this one is PETG. And I've liked the PETG. I've used it for a couple things so far. It, it feels strong, but yet on some thinner items, it, it seems a little more flexible than the PLA, especially since PLA is usually more brittle than other filaments because it's so hard. But this guy, I mean, he almost looks like a ghost version of the green one. So take a look at that. But he printed out with no issues again. There's a little bit of stringing at the top in between the peaks. I don't know if you can see that on there. There's just a little bit. And he was printed at 255 degrees Celsius, which is reaching the limit of my, uh, my current printer. Uh, the print bed was 60 degrees on both the green and red PLA and the print bed was at 100 for the PETG. It, it just comes out, I mean, just amazing. It, it had no issues at all. Now, I did use, yet again, the fans for the nozzle with the PETG. Uh, without them, I ran into a lot of problems. So this guy's running with the fans about 25% uh, to 75%. I started out at 25 and I ramped it up after a couple layers and I had no issues at all. The bottoms are smooth on all these. They look wonderful. And I really look forward to seeing what's in the January Maker Geeks 3D Geek box. So if you liked what you saw, if you have any comments, list them below, any ideas, and come back, hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, they haven't been notifying people unless you do. And as always, keep on printing.